Ariam's administration has felt like a soap opera over the last 15 months, so it's only fitting there was a final plot twist. Liberty House's GFC Alliance has won the race to take over the company after securing a deal last night. The company themselves uh, are pledging to retain all of the workforce. Sign off from the Foreign Investment Review Board and final creditor approval are still needed, with August 31 being targeted as a handover date. And then Liberty will be the new owner. Investing in wireless saw the events of the last 15 months never happen again. After 15 months of worry, workers can finally rest easy, knowing their jobs have been secured after GFG Alliance purchased the wireless steelworks. Knowing that everybody's going to maintain their jobs and, and employment is, is a good thing. But the toll has been immense, pushing many workers and their families to breaking point. I did say to Kerry ann that is like, when do you want to just bite the bullet? Should I go somewhere else? Like a new homeowner, Sanjeev Gupta was beaming this morning as he inspected his newly acquired steelworks. And everywhere he went, he was being thanked for saving Ariam. Yeah, they'll make changes because this is not currently a sustainable world-class plant. It needs to become one. And you said we'll remain willing to step in should the circumstances arise. Did you have an inkling at that time that you might still be worth a chance that POSCO might not be the done deal? Even though we made that sort of gracious uh, comment in the press, but actually we were hard at work even then. Uh, we didn't stop. We came immediately. I came immediately. The moment we, if you like, uh, lost or got out of the process, the, and we kept kept trying. Police have a suspect in yesterday's murder on McNamara Street, but they're still yet to find the weapon. Residents in the area should keep an eye out for the blade and report it to police. If anyone is in within a 10 minute walking uh, distance of the McNamara Street address and you locate evidence connected with the crime, to please uh, leave the uh, item in situ and call police immediately. With just 25 days until Shins of Steel returns, there's not a moment to spare at training. Local Hayden Lion will feature on the main card this year. Uh, it's always good to fight at home. Uh, i got the support of the hometown. Um, yeah, I'm excited for fighting at home. Western Centrals were taking no risks at training ahead of Saturday's big game. Both sides go into the match knowing it'll be won or lost in the midfield. If we get on top of the middle, give our forwards use of the ball, I think we'll be able to kick enough goals to win. Starts in the middle, you know, we've, um, we've got Nick De Jong, who's a fantastic ruckman. Um, they've also got some very good young players. Central and North were in final preparations last night for Grand Final 2017. The two have met four times this year with two wins each. North will go in as the favourites after bowling Central's out for just 37 in the semi-final a couple of weeks ago. However, Central's finished minor premiers. With that in mind, our cricket expert Brad Smith expects Saturday's result to go down to the wire. Owner Sanjeev Gupta made a late inspection of the company's wireless operations, ahead of final bids which are due in May. Mr Gupta and staff from his British-based business arrived at the airport late Friday night after spending the day in Wyla. This is the last of a number of covert visits they've made to Wyla to assess whether they want to purchase Arium. Mental health patients were facing a bleak future in Wyla, with community rehab beds facing the axe. Disaster has been averted, with the state government committing nearly $9 million over four years to keep the beds operational. So we're going to fund 8.5 million going onwards to make sure these bids are open. It's that time of year again. Oh, yeah, f Magpies have begun breeding across the country as the weather warms up. Now you can't walk around all day with a bike helmet on your head, but there are a few tips to avoid being swooped. Cyclists should wear something long on their helmets to distract the birds while we're being encouraged to warn others. In the meantime, watch out. John Hunt, Southern Cross News.